Hello to all of you, seekers of knowledge and explorers of the human mind. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to journey through the cosmos of consciousness itself? To sail the vast expanse of the mind, where every thought and memory twinkles like a star in the night sky. Today we embark on such an odyssey, tracing the steps of a man whose revolutionary work illuminated the landscapes of our inner universes. Imagine, if you will, a realm not bound by the familiar dimensions of space and time, but rather one that expands and contracts with the ebb and flow of perception and cognition. This is the philosophical landscape we wander today, a place where questions of consciousness, the self, and the fabric of reality intermingle like colors on an artist's palette. Now, let us pose a question, a beacon to guide us on our intellectual voyage. What are the intricate ties that bind the human consciousness to the greater cosmos that surrounds us? How did the pioneering work of Wilder Penfield transform our understanding not just of the human brain, but of the very essence of thought and existence? As we delve into the theme's core aspects, let's consider the brain as Penfield saw it, not just an organ, but a map to an unseen world. Through narrative storytelling, imagine the operating room as Penfield's canvas, the electrical stimulations his brushstrokes that teased out recollections, sensations, and the raw experience of being from his patients. Each response was a clue, a piece of the grand puzzle, revealing how memories are scattered like constellations across the cerebral cortex. Just as an astronomer gazes up at the night sky to chart the stars, Penfield charted the human mind, uncovering the neurological groundwork of our personal cosmos. Penfield's work drew not only on the scalpel and microscope, but also on the philosophical musings of those who came before him. He trod a path laid by Descartes, who once declared, cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. But Penfield ventured further, exploring not just the fact of thought, but its place of origin. He echoed the sentiments of philosophers both ancient and modern, who have long grappled with the mind-body problem. His finding that the mind seemed to interact with the brain yet remained distinct echoed dualistic theories, suggesting a complex relationship between the physical and the mental realms. Turning to the annals of history, one can draw parallels between Penfield's discoveries and the pivotal moments when humanity's understanding of itself underwent seismic shifts. Just as Galileo's telescope revolutionized our perspective on our place in the universe, Penfield's cortical experiments expanded our grasp of the human consciousness. Consider the case study of his famous Montreal procedure, wherein he uncovered the neurological basis for epilepsy, providing relief for countless sufferers while also giving us a glimpse into the direct experience of memory. This historic innovation bears resemblance to the present-day fascination with neural implants and the quest to merge man with machine. Penfield's work ventures into profound ethical implications and moral considerations as well. The ability to evoke memories and sensations opens a Pandora's box of questions regarding privacy of thought, consent, and the nature of free will. Imagine a modern scenario where brain-machine interfaces could potentially access our innermost thoughts. What then becomes of the sanctity of the human mind? Penfield himself, while a meticulous scientist, was deeply aware of the philosophical weight carried by his research. Our cultural reflections on consciousness often draw from the wellspring of Penfield's legacy. Literary works, such as those exploring stream of consciousness, or films that depict the manipulation of memory and identity, such as Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, all resonate with themes Penfield brought to the fore. These works push us to question the reliability of our perceptions and the fragility of our memories, much like Penfield's own findings did in his time. In contemporary discussions, the debates around consciousness have only grown more vibrant, spurred on by advancements in neurotechnology and artificial intelligence. Some argue that consciousness is but an emergent property of complex neural networks, while others maintain that there is an irreducible quality to the human experience that cannot be computed or replicated. 
Penfield's research sits at the fulcrum of these debates, his findings supporting the notion of a conscious self that is more than the sum of neural firings. The relevance and importance of Penfield's journey through the cosmos of consciousness cannot be overstated in today's context. As we grapple with the ethical implications of AI and the neuroscience of consciousness, we stand on the shoulders of giants like Penfield. The future may hold the key to unlocking the full potential of the human mind or pose new challenges to our understanding of what it means to be conscious, sentient beings. In bringing our ideas together, let us reflect on a synthesis of Penfield's journey, a journey that is as much about the outer reaches of scientific discovery as it is about the inner space of human existence. His work reminds us that to explore the brain is to explore the very fabric of reality, where each thought is a star, each memory a galaxy, and our consciousness the universe within. I want to express my deepest gratitude for your engagement in this exploration of one man's profound impact on our understanding of consciousness and the cosmos. It is through communal reflection and discourse that we continue to unravel the mysteries of our existence. As you go forth from this point, consider what the journey through your own cosmos of consciousness might reveal. How do the memories and thoughts that dance across your mind shape your reality? What ethical boundaries should we draw in the exploration of the human brain? Thank you for joining me on this philosophical odyssey. May the questions we've pondered together ignite a spark of curiosity in your own minds, inspiring you to continue the never-ending quest for knowledge and understanding. Until next time, keep contemplating the wonders of consciousness and the cosmos, for it is in these wonders that we find the true essence of being.